Gaming on an Xbox with a mouse and keyboard is definitely something else. Are you wondering what it's like to use a mouse and keyboard on the Xbox Series X? My name is RobinB360 and welcome to another video. Even though I spent the last years gaming on a console and I only have a simple mouse and keyboard, I just wanted to see how this experience is and hopefully give you some valuable information. So we're going to dive right into how you can set up a mouse and keyboard on the Xbox Series X for gaming, show you which games and apps it supports and how they perform. The setup. The setup is really easy as it is just plug and play for a USB mouse and keyboard. Once you've set it up, you can use your keyboard in the Xbox menu partially, which is nice because you don't have to switch to a controller. In order to help you navigate through the menu with the keyboard, I made an overview for you to make it a bit easier. Just pause the video if you want to note something down. I think it speaks for itself that you can use all the keys if you want to search for something on your Xbox or send a message to a friend. But one thing that might come in handy if you're an Xbox Insider is that you can use the keyboard shortcut Windows Logo and F to report a problem or unexpected behavior. Just a small reminder, if you found any value in this video so far, consider to like the video or maybe even subscribe to the channel so you can support me so I can keep making similar content for you. Now let's continue. A good thing to know about the mouse is that you cannot use it in the Xbox menu, which isn't a big issue, but it would be nice because it would give you a bit more of a PC feeling. If you want to change the mouse configuration in the Xbox menu, just press the Xbox button on your controller to open the guide, go to settings, devices and connections, and then select mouse. Here you'll see options for pointer speed and for swapping primary and secondary mouse buttons, which can be useful for you. Just keep in mind, you'll need to use your controller to configure your mouse, as the settings menu does not support mouse interaction. So now you're ready to start gaming with a mouse and keyboard on your brand new Xbox Series X or S. But unfortunately, not all games are supported because the app or game publisher must enable this feature for the content. I've added a link of supported games in the description if you want to check it out or you can write down this link. Now let's start trying out a few games that do support mouse and keyboard. Call of Duty. The interesting thing about Call of Duty is that you first need to use the controller at the start menu. Once you've done that, you can go to the settings menu and select mouse and keyboard. If you haven't done this here, you cannot use your mouse and keyboard during the game. There are tons of options available like mouse sensitivity, key mapping and much more, which is great if you want to customize your mouse and keyboard to your liking. Gameplay wise, it feels like playing on a PC. Even though I absolutely have no skills with a mouse and keyboard versus a controller, I see myself getting used to the fast aiming and turning like gaming on a PC. Everything works fine as you might expect in Warzone, but also in single player it works like a charm. Same goes for other modes like multiplayer. Sims 4 Sims 4 works straight out of the box. Once you've plugged in your mouse and keyboard, it is identical to gaming on a PC. You have an on-screen cursor and everything works nice and snappy. So if you love The Sims but you can't get used to playing it on a controller, just plug in your mouse and keyboard and you're good to go. Halo Infinity I've played a decent amount of hours on this game, so I can compare it a bit better than on Call of Duty. This time we don't see an on-screen cursor, but we do see the keys on screen, which is nice. Single player plays very fluent with the mouse and keyboard, as I had almost no issue running, jumping, aiming and grapple hooking my way through the game. Also the use of vehicles went very smooth, as steering, aiming and shooting were no issue at all. When I dive into the multiplayer, the only issue I had here was that I don't have the keyboard and mouse muscle memory yet, as I do have on a controller because I played this game for hours with it. Other than that, I do see myself try a mouse and keyboard on this game a lot more, especially for guns where I need more precision, like the battle rifle or sniper rifle. Overall the gaming experience with a mouse and keyboard feels nice. But what about using apps? Microsoft Edge works with both a mouse and keyboard as it has an on-screen cursor which we don't see on all games or in the Xbox menu. Netflix and Amazon Prime Video also work perfectly with a keyboard but unfortunately don't have an option to use the mouse. But this isn't a big issue compared to Disney Plus Video which can't use a mouse and keyboard at all. Overall I think it is a good moment to start using a mouse and keyboard on the Xbox. I hope more games and apps will support mouse and keyboard and improve on this feature with full mouse control and an on-screen cursor, like we've seen on Microsoft Edge and The Sims 4. If you're worried to only play against mouse and keyboard players while you're on your controller, Halo Infinity for example has some sort of a resolution to this, where you can filter cross players and rank matches, so you won't be matched up with your controller against PC players with a mouse and keyboard. 
it would be great if we can have this option going forward on all games that support mouse and keyboard so we can still play casual games with a controller without getting wrecked every second. And it would be even better if instead of crossplay filtering, we could actually filter on mouse and keyboard players if you want to play some casual games online. So what do you think about this development? Should we see more mouse and keyboard support on consoles? And will you use it? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, this test got me curious of how it will work on the PlayStation 5 and maybe even on the Nintendo Switch. So if you want to see more similar content, hit the like button, subscribe and put on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.